What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bobby G and I've got another good video for you today. We're gonna be unboxing and checking out my first impressions on two cases from a brand that was recommended to me. That's gonna be Nomad. And I've got two leather cases for you. Make sure they get into focus there. So we got two leather cases for you. The first one we've got is going to be the English Tan. And then the second one I've got for you is gonna be their Rustic Brown. So again, two cases we're gonna get unboxed, try them on the phone, see how they look, and I'll let you know my first impressions on how they feel. Modern leather case. Nice, sleek, simplistic presentation. Color right there. TPU bumpers on the side. Does have an actual button for it, not a cutout. I do like the feel of this power button. MagSafe and wireless charging compatible. Sides are pretty stiff. Top has a little bit of give. Bottom is like really tight. So right here, top down view. on the bottom, USB-C opening right there, action button on the side, and he's gonna have those ridges on the uh, power button. Got it all cleaned up right there. So first we're gonna try out this, uh, let's do this English tan first and see how it looks. There's a phone, natural titanium, always looks so good. Let's pop it in this English tan first. And there's the English tan. So of course the nice, the back feels nice. Mmm, gotta give it that smell one more time off camera. Button is very tactile on the sides. All the buttons feel really good. It's got a actually good, good lip raise on above the cameras, just slightly below above the cameras. So this is the bottom view right here and you can see so it's got the symmetrical cutout so it's not it's not going to be accurate to the actual phone speakers and mic but you know it looks good because it's symmetrical at least on the bottom hopefully y'all can see that okay so i've got a screen protector on my phone and with the screen protector and the case itself but uh, that's not gonna fly. Like it is basically, let me bring it in, it is basically flush with the screen protector. So that's uh, that's not good. So that's gonna be one hit on that. So if y'all end up getting this case, know that with the screen protector, it's, it's not gonna have much of a raised lip. May have like ever, I don't even know though, ever so slightly of a raised lip. I feel like it's laying right on the screen protector, but yeah, that's gonna be a ding on this one. The buttons feel really great, very tactile feedback on all the buttons. It does have a little bit of a raised lip for the cameras, but that's gonna be a ding on it. So anyways, there's the English tan. Right here, that's gonna be that rustic brown. The phone cleaned off. And then let's pop it in. Tactile buttons. The buttons feel really good. There's maybe a little bit, it's raised just a little bit higher than the screen protector. So just slightly above the screen protector. So that could be a huge concern for y'all. Um, but everything else, everything else in this case is awesome. The feel, the tactile button feedback, quality is going to be really top notch. I think I like this darker one more than the lighter colored uh, brown leather. Quality feels there. It's just that it doesn't have much of a raised lip, and that could be a, that could be an issue. Something that I want to add about the Nomad case. So on their site. They say that the case is rated for an eight foot drop. 
again my only concern with that drop would be that since it doesn't have too much of a raised lip on the front that you possibly depending on the surface it falls on could incur damage with the lip not being so raised so just some food for thought as always folks please like comment and subscribe i'm continuing to grow thank you so much y'all have a great week great weekend see you on the next one